the depths of the gathering of those in Christ. My God in heaven. I sat here and read that tonight. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 10. That in the dispensation of the fullness of time, he might gather together in one, my spirit on the oneness of God, all things in Christ, in Christ, that's stressing, in Christ, both which are in heaven, which are on earth. Now catch this part, even in him. So what have the Father's been sharing is absolute truth. And I can't begin to express it in a single paragraph or one video. Even in him. There's our being in him. Thus he gathers all those begotten in him. This is John 17. The oneness. Gather together in one. Being one as they are one. Father, Son, Holy Spirit are one. The Father's in the Son's in the Father, the bosom of the Father, the Father's in the Son, and the Spirit unites them all together. They become one. They are one. They don't become, they always were one. And his desire has always been that we be one in Christ. We were begotten in Christ, not an afterthought of God. It always was eternal. Eternally begotten in Christ. I, I wish I could express that even deeper. I can't make you go back and view all these other videos. You have to know this. You're in Christ. You've always been in Christ. And in the fullness of time, this was expressed. What, what was expressed? The mystery of all this. You'd have to get into the mysteries to understand what I'm talking about. And we're supposed to be stewards of this mystery. After 2,000 years, by reason of time, we should know these things. We're worse than Nicodemus. After 4,000 years, the Jewish people, having the word of God through their prophets, this mystery, unaware to them, scratching their head trying to understand it, the mystery was manifested in time. Space, the material world, the Son of God, as a Son of Man, stressing that point, revealing the mystery, it's this same mind that was in Him as a Son of Man is in us. It's always been there. The Old Testament prophets, it was a mystery, they didn't understand it. The Holy Spirit would come upon them, stir the mind of Christ in their spirit, and they would speak the words of the Father through their spirit, empowered by the Holy Spirit. Then he would leave. They keep it a mystery. Not to the fullness of the time. At the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Him speaking metaphors, images, parables, keeping a mystery. And after the death, burial, and resurrection, here comes the Apostle Paul, commissioned to reveal it plainly so we could begin to understand it. And after 2,000 years, that plain expression of the mystery of God, godliness, being manifested in us, all, Jew and Gentile, the offspring of God unaware. And people want to call this heresy. Not some universalist idea, inclusionist idea, or any other cult. And it's opinions and idea our being one in Christ and our being the offspring of God. He came to gather us all together, Jew and Gentile. Powerful. So you, Subscribers to this YouTube channel, the few, I know a few of you see this and you rejoice with me. Oh God, can you see what I'm, what's being said there? I read this verse many a time over my lifetime. Never did I see it to the night 
It all clicks. He's gathering us all. This church, this ecclesia, this called out assembly from the secular and the religious world. The new creation in Christ, new to us and our opinions and ideas from a secular or religious viewpoint. A shallow, narrow idea of all of this. You were in him, and he came to gather us again with his second birth, having the same source as the first birth, which was eternal in Christ. Everything was manifested for him, through him, heaven and earth, and those things in him, how long they've been in there, eternal. You were eternally in him. In the eternality of the human spirit, that serves, I attempt to allow the Father through this vessel to express this. People going off saying that the human spirit was created. It's not created. It's eternal. The material earth was created. The heavens eternal. You were begotten from that eternal realm, which is your mother of us all. And God is our father of us all. Through Christ, eternally begotten in Christ. If you get that, give a thumbs up or say something the best way you can. Allow the Father through your spirit to convey this truth to you. God bless.